Coco really thinks she's that girl. I've spent a lot of my life single, so it is what it is. I'm just waiting for those boys in the DMs. <laughs> I admire the confidence. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island season eight, episode 40. Why do they do that to me? Why do they do that? They got me so excited with the tonight moving. Just for them to only show two things and then we have to wait until, so whatever. Like this video, subscribe and hit the bell. Leave a comment down below. All right, so they left us on a cliffhanger on who was going to be eliminated and the lowest votes for the guys was Josh. I was just as shocked as Deji was. I did not see that coming. The lowest votes for the girls was Coco. And um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty chill send off. It wasn't really much there. I, I had a, like a small inkling that Summer would leave, not because she would leave for Josh, but who in the house is for her? Like she's gonna get done pretty soon anyways, but anyways, it is what it is. Um, Tasha is feeling her feelings and I ha I do have to say I didn't feel a way when when Jax was going through his thing because I feel the way I feel about him and y'all know how I feel about Tasha but I I I cannot lie I I felt for her I did feel like I hate me Jax let's start that and in my head I'm like I just all these fucking knockbacks <laughs> the house however the house didn't feel as bad. The house, oh, it was so bad. You got the people in the kitchen talking about, really? You got the people on the beanbag saying, really? I was like, damn. You should be over the moon. Totally. And, and you both stayed. You I both totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. He's yeah. into her more than she's into him. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Obvious. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and I feel, I feel like it would hurt her even more if he was never actually in, in the bottom and it was always just her. Really, Every really public vote, her honest. and Andrew have always been in the bottom. Yeah. There's a reason why. Yeah. Then you have Luca, who, <laughs> what an idiot. He comes to Tasha and he's basically like, why are you crying? You should be happy you have a boyfriend. You're still here. You're still boyfriend and girlfriend. You haven't had a hard decision to make. Why are you being like that? You made someone you boyfriend Yeah, I know tonight. I have, Luca. I know I have got positive at the same time. When it's a knockback, it can knock your fucking confidence down to fucking thousands. There's a time and a place. Just saying what everyone else is thinking. <laughs> Why is Luca coming at me? Can... This is a good question now. Got voted out. Would she leave with him? No. Don't get me wrong. I, I share the sentiments. I do. But time and place. Have some couth, have some decorum. Come on, Luca. I get it. Later on, he was saying, she is my friend. So I just thought I could say anything in the way that I talked to her. But it's like, she's crying. She's visibly not happy. Like, this is not the time, you know? He was saying everything that we were all thinking, though. At least the majority of us. I, I know the Tasha Vigilantes haven't been around lately, but I'm sure I'm going to see y'all today. So y'all had your moment, all right? But she's a very, very sensitive girl and, it, and things like that. It does knock her massively. There's a time and a place right, right, when she was upset. The harsh approach wasn't needed. It wasn't that harsh, was it? Yeah. I feel like you could have been a bit more delicate. No, nah, I wasn't like... harsh, mate. I, wasn't I know, I hear that. No, the girl is upset. I would have told her a lot more. Yeah, but I under, like, obviously we agree with the same thing, but you have to see that she's, gonna, she's obviously upset. I like... said, why are you that upset? When she sat there crying her eyes out, do you really think having that and telling her that opinion mm. was necessary? Oh, yeah. I wanted to make a note that I found it interesting how he was not understanding how emotional she was. But whenever somebody brings up his possessiveness, he throws a fit. And I'm just like, not the pot cutting, calling the kettle. <laughs> That's interesting. So, yeah, feelings aside on how I, I um, perceive Tasha, she actually is going to have a hard time on the outside, like constantly being on the bottom the jokes that we've made. It's gonna be a rough time for her and I do hope that she has a team around her that can help her cope. Paige is talking to Dami and she's like, even though Jax has a soft spot in her heart, she's really feeling Adam. Everything happens for a reason. And like, I, um, like I'm enjoying getting my time to know Adam. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, I mean, I couldn't tell. No, <laughs> no not at all. Like, do you feel like there's potential or? Um, potential, 
I, for me personally, I would say yes. Obviously, Ooh. I don't know what he's saying, which really infuriates me. So let me get this straight. So the people who watched Adam's season, was he talking the same madness in the, the, the beach hut as he was doing in the villa? Because this time around, like he's, he's really talking like he's really feeling her or is he bamboozling all of us? Is he trying to pull the wool over all of our eyes? Cause baby, I'm blind. It's working. It's working. I believe it. I do. I don't necessarily see longevity because I think like maybe the outside pressures, she's going to be like, oh my gosh. And then maybe she's going to feel guilty about Jackson, whatever. I don't know. I just, I, I don't really think that they would actually work, but in the villa, it, it, it makes sense. I know I'm not the only one. So there's a lot going on in the night, okay? You got Davide joking about um, three weeks out, he's gonna love, what's her name? And then you got uh, Tasha and Andrew sharing, I love, sharing I love yous, okay? And then in the morning, she relays to the rest of the girls what happened, and I forgot, this was her first time ever being in love. What? Album. Oh, it has been sad. You've never said the album. Yeah, no. yeah. Like I laid down, I was like, is this what love's supposed to feel like? I don't know if I would call this love. Mainly because I, I just see Tasha turning her head again. I don't know if it's gonna be in the villa or outside the villa, I, I don't know. And let's be honest, if you truly love somebody, so here's the test, guys. Obviously she's gonna fail. If you truly love somebody, there's a way in which you handle conflict. Maybe that comes with maturity and not love, but let's just go with it, right? Love means you accept somebody, flaws and all. Can we agree? Potentially. If she has a cow, about what uh what happened in casa or whatever they're going to show about him was it love was it was it love so now that they are official they are more boring as if that was possible look at that smile no oh, i do love you I love you too. Moving on to more exciting couples. Dami shares that he's excited about the future and he's now open to relationships. He got me, guys. My mindset about a lot of stuff is, is gradually changing and how mm. I feel about things like obviously the whole relationship stuff. Because before mm. I was actually terrified. I'm not going to lie. It's been five years since I asked someone to be my girlfriend. I don't even know how to ask someone to be my girlfriend. We've danced around a lot of different topics, you know, meeting her mom and all that stuff. Just being excited for the things that we'll get up to and do. Am I on the boat? Am I on the boat? As of today's episode, I will say that I am. But it's looking like she's not a fan of what she saw in Casa. It's looking like she don't like what he was doing. So could he be in the doghouse again? Potentially. And then I'm, I'm going to be off the boat. So, India, I'm following your lead. Are you on the boat? Are you off the boat? Because I, I follow you wherever you go, sis. Later on, Tasha and Luca end up burying the hatchet. But my God, Luca's apology skills are in the pits. Imagine Andrew had to go or you had to go. Mm. Then it'd been a lot tougher than what it was. Yeah, I completely get that. But at the same time, everyone's got different mentalities. He's your boyfriend. Um. You're in love. If you were to go tomorrow, you should be skipping at that door with him. Do you know what I mean? I'm noticing that taking accountability is really hard for the people in the villa this year. Like, I know it's not something that's unique to this season. Nobody wants to say, like, oh, yes, I am the villain in this situation. But this season of people, specifically, accountability is like giving up their firstborn child. It's just, whew, it's the hardest thing for them to do. Did this man get excited over Gemma's feet? No. No. Please. No. Please, just once. I actually want you to get more tattoos. Where does this come from? Me looking at you. Can you get out now? No, still not. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm not. OK, I believe you. I can't even tell who's in the sunken place at this point. Is it her or is it him? Because she looks like she's suffocating with him sometimes. He is literally under her foot, literally. Like, 
she says to stick my toe in your mouth, he does it. <sighs> you know, if you like it, I love it. Nope, I don't, I don't. If you like it, then you like it. So they end up getting a text that they need to get ready because Mad Movies is going to air this evening and a good handful of the Islanders are breaking it. We in trouble. Movie night tonight is gonna be some serious, horrific stuff. My worst nightmare has arrived. If we pass this, we're fine. If we can't, we're fucked. Hey, so who's been talking shit then? <laughs> There's gonna be arguments but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bother with the questions that they were trying to answer. The guys got the first answer correct and the title of the movie was, I know what Ekin did last summer and they show her in the bed with George. Yeah, I pushed him away. <laughs> it's sort of like my hand there, her hand on there, saw her in a little, Ooh. little play around. <laughs> So what do you say? There was the touching or not? She touched him or something like that and said, can you keep it a secret? Oh, Nothing like happened. You're a liar. Now, I saw that on Twitter, um, Ekin's handler was talking to George and just basically saying like, yo, clear her name. And he said nothing happened, which corresponds with what Ekansu was trying to say. But then why immediately after would he's like, I feel like you, you remember the difference between a woman rubbing your Johnson and not. And then if nothing happened, why did she do damage control? You know? And even before that, when she was looking at Davide saying, if we can get through this, we can get through anything. Why? Was it nothing? Come on, Ekin. Let's be real. The second one, the guys also got correct. And it was called She's Just Not That Into You, where Dami reads Gemma's mind. And also, Billy was flirting with Gemma. I was good. Yeah, it was kind of that impressive. Was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, listen, I, I don't... Where right here? Please just leave it here, because I don't want any... Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think you're that far wrong. I'm fucking ugly. I got made out to be like a fucking prick. Mm. That's all right. Mate, that was fucking yeah, flirting. Was. Yeah, I mean, you fucking don't deny it. You were fucking flirting. Yeah, I was. And I don't care. I don't, like, I don't care. You can crack on it, someone, but fucking flirt and I was made out to be a fucking idiot for it. So this whole time when Luca was going off at the mouth, I thought he was mad at Gemma, but he seemed to be more upset with Billy because he, I guess he thought Billy was his friend and he was like, how would you flirt with my girl? But I thought it was, she's just not that into, like, like he refuses to see the, the, the difference in the amount of affection they have for each other. Maybe he's just accepted the reality that he will be more into her than she is into him. So he's okay with that. And then he's upset with Billy. Cha, I don't know. I do not know. Anyways, we'll be live tomorrow to talk about all of this mess. And then Sunday, it's Sunday better give because they're making us wait all weekend. Sunday better give. As always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next. Damn, that was short, honey. Yeah, they didn't give us much.